Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to briefly go over my new NPM package that allows you to add Discord Components version 2 functionality to your Discord.js bot. This should also work with other forms of Discord clients if you use other libraries, but it's only in JavaScript and TypeScript, of course, and all the links will be in the description. That being said, here's an example starter command that we'll be using in this case. If you are new to discord.js or you want to learn more, make sure you go check out my other tutorials on my YouTube channel. You might have to go to some of the older ones. I will be making new ones shortly if I get the chance. Today we're just going over the new components and how you can use them. So instead of having to use all the JSON, I built a structured function based setup similar to how discord.js tends to make their builders. So it should be pretty familiar for most of you. Just make sure you use it alongside the discord documentation, the developer docs. I will also have a link directly to the new components list and it'll go into more detail about all the different things that you can configure on it. And this is just basically a wrapper on top of that that just makes it easier in general so it's pretty much the same thing and this is going to be a very basic introduction so we're going to start out with const components because since it's the new version it's just easier to label it this way equals new component builder and we're going to do dot set components and this is going to be an array of components. We'll open this up and let's start with new container builder. So this is kind of like a very fancy embedded message. And we have to declare some components on this one. So we're going to say set components, another array, open it up. And we're going to start with new X display. And so we can put some text straight into it, or we could just do dot set content and then put our text in there. So if we start with this and actually let's set the color. Sorry, that's not in there. Let's set color. And unfortunately for now, you have to use integer colors. I will leave a resource in the description where you can find in integer colors makes it easier because that's how Discord likes them, so. And since it's the version two, this already has the flags built in and everything, so it's just much easier to do interaction.reply components, and we have to do components.toJSON. Just an arc work of this, just makes it work easier. Now, when I run the command, it'll look kind of like an embed, but it's not an embed. So as you see, testing, and we've got the color there that we selected. Now, if you want to make it a bit more fancy, I'll just put up an example for time's sake. This is one that I made by just messing around. So we've got the text display still, it says testing. We've got an action row builder. Let's actually make this bigger, because why not? So then if you want to add a select menu, just like normally when you have to add it to a message, you got to put it inside an action row builder and then you can do set components and then new user builder, user select builder, and make sure you set the custom ID so you can handle the interactions afterwards. And again, all of these components are from within the V2 components builder because they are slightly different. Now, if we run the command again, we've got all these different ones and separators as well. I'll go over that after but we've got the user select, we've got the role select, we've got another user select. Oh, this is mentionable, any mentionable. And then this is panel select. And of course that has all the same arguments that I've gone over in my other videos. So make sure you watch those. They'll be linked in the description. Um, and just the playlist in general, where I've got some videos that goes over the different kinds of components in discord.js. And again, these are all very similar. I'll make a more detailed guide in the future if you guys want that. But for now, that should suffice. 
If you have any questions or need any further assistance, or you want to leave a feature request or code suggestions, you can do so in my Discord server link in the description. It's the same one for all my stuff, which is convenient. Uh, thanks for watching. If it was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe, spread the word, and stay tuned for more videos. See you all soon.